What's up everybody? I am Prepper Princess, the author of Living on Almost Nothing. If you're interested in purchasing my book, I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description box below. And don't forget, please hit the like or subscribe to help the YouTube, God, YouTube gods and the algorithm on this channel so that more people will learn how to save money and live frugally. So today, um, I wanted to talk to you about the five things that I will not cheap out on. You guys have seen like everything. You guys know that I have a bidet to save on toilet paper. I've got toilet fill valves to save on water. I've got low flow shower heads. I buy my makeup at the dollar store. I use only VO5 and Suave. I get the cheapest toothpaste, the 98 cent stuff down at the, or 88 cents down at the bottom shelf at Walmart, or I'll go to the Dollar Tree. I don't have cable. I use a Roku box. I have the cheapest possible cell phone service almost on the planet probably on the planet in my area. I don't buy clothes and when I do buy clothes, it's very rarely and I'll do it at a thrift store. I mean, you guys know the deal. You know that I am like the cheapest person on YouTube right now. I would even have to say I am cheaper than Beat the Bush and he is cheap. <laughs> All right guys, so I do wanna talk about five things that I will not scrimp on. The first thing is probably going to be bedding. Now I know what you're thinking, mattresses. I won't skimp on a mattress either. I'm not talking about a mattress. I will skimp on a mattress. I will go down to the thrift store and buy a mattress for 25 bucks. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about when it comes to bedding, every time I get a bed, no matter how expensive or cheap it is, I always buy a three inch memory foam uh, top, a, a mattress topper because I need like I need to be sleeping on a cloud. I need it to be like super soft and they do not make a bed soft enough for me. Even if it is the softest bed on the planet, it's not soft enough for me. So I always buy the three inch foam mattress pads that contour to your body. I also spend like a hundred dollars or more on a heated mattress topper for the winter. This, now, now, I don't know if I can call this not cheaping out because I use that as like a heater. Like, I, I don't wanna say like a heater, but you know, I don't, I will turn on my mattress, heated mattress pad before I turn on the heater to the house and I will bundle up in my bed you know, and, and I will pretty much start sweating because it's so hot and then I will come out and start running around. So that, it saves me a ton of money, uh, but I will not skimp on it. And then when it comes to like uh, sheets and, I don't care about the sheets. In fact, the, the sheets that I like are incredibly cheap. Everybody likes the soft Egyptian cotton with 10,000 thread count. I, I'm weird, like I like scratchy, <laughs> I like scratchy fabrics and it's the same with my towels. I will, pur I will purposefully line dry my towels so that they are scratchy. Um, I prefer scratchy, I don't know why, but I just do and I can't stand that that super, super soft microfiber. I can't stand, it makes me like, uh, no, I can't take it. But um, the bedding, so the sheets, I always like the cheap stuff, but uh, like duvet covers and duvets, um, I want luxury. So I have like a feathered comforter um, and I will get a beautiful duvet and I don't care what it costs, but usually a duvet cover in a duvet is like 35 bucks. So it's not, I would be spending the same on cheap stuff as I would the fancy stuff, but I want luxury in my bed. I just, I want luxury and I'm going to have it, doggone it. If I can't have luxury, if I can have luxury anywhere, it's gonna be my bed. So there you go. Uh, the second thing is shoes. So the shoes, the shoes that I wear are not particularly expensive, but I'm not going to cheap out and buy shoes at a thrift store. I might buy sandals at a thrift store, um, or actually I find more sandals. I don't ever have to buy sandals. I find them all the time on the beach here. But um, shoes, so I, I, won't, I won't cheap out on shoes. I'll spend $100 on a pair of shoes that are comfortable and don't hurt my feet and help me with my posture because yes, shoes have a lot to do with posture and I, you know, <laughs> posture. So, and I do a lot of walking. Uh, so I have to have a really good walking shoe. Uh, and that's really important to me and I will not skimp on that. Number three might be surprising to you, a couch. 
So this couch behind me, people sometimes ask me about the couch. I got it on Wayfair, uh, and it was when I bought, and it's not a couch, by the way, it's a love seat. Um, this house is 900 square feet, and the living room is not wide enough to be able to take like a couch. So I can't even spread out on this. It's just, it's a, um, it's a love seat. It's not a sofa. So it's like five feet. It's short. And I paid $4.29 for it a few years ago, but I'm sure like with the price increases and crazy stuff like that, it's way more expensive. But in, and when you, and I, um, I chose a feathered, uh, uh feathered interior thing. Um, so the back cushions are feathered and the bottom cushions are feathered and cover and then the feathers are like rolled in foam. So it's super fluffy. Um, and I will not cheap out on that. And fortunately, because I have dogs, it has a slip cover that I can take off and wash and I can take the covers off of all of the pillows and wash those. So that's why it has stayed so white with two dogs over years. I wash them regularly and it's also stain resistant. So if you guys like, I'm sorry, I don't have a link. Not sponsored by Wayfair, by the way. Wayfair, not a sponsor yet. But um, that's where I got mine. So I got it on Wayfair and it was like $4.29, but I would spend $4,000 on a couch. I would just save up forever um, and just buy the one that I want because, and this is the first new couch I've ever bought in my life. All of my couches that I have had up until this point were uh, hand-me-downs or garbage picks. Yeah, I've, I've had couches from the garbage, uh, couch beds, the kind that roll into beds uh, from the garbage, but uh, that, I will not skimp on another couch ever again in my life. That is the most comfortable couch I have ever had in my life. Um, the next one is going to be weird. Uh, paint. So paint, right? You, you paint the walls, whatever. I find that if I buy cheap paint, I have to paint the wall. And by the way, I hate painting, um, but I do what I have to do. But and it's much cheaper for me to do it. Like it's like one tenth of the price for me to paint as opposed to hiring somebody to do it. But um, I find that when I buy the cheap paint, I have to go over it so many times in order to get it to, you know, fully, you know, not show the old color through the wall, through the paint. So I feel like spending more money on good paint versus less money on cheap paint, um, it takes me less work so it's like a work money balance. So I don't have to roll as many times instead of putting on, three, you know, four coats. I only have to do two coats with the good paint. So spend, it's like, even, even if I spend double, I'm still spending the same, if that makes sense, but I would be spending less work with the better paint. Okay. And the last one is, um, vacations. Yes. Vacations. Did you know, I read an article recently stating that you were supposed to spend 1% of your salary on a vacation. So if you're making $100,000 a year, you're only supposed to spend $1,000 on vacation. What are you gonna do for with $1,000? It's nothing, <laughs> you know? You're like, okay, well I only have $1,000 to spend. I guess I'm car camping in the backyard, you know, $1,000 does not go far. So I, I spend way more, prob whenever I do go on vacation, I spend way more than like 1% of my monthly salary or whatever it is. But uh, I recently went to Universal Studios with my family and uh, it was, it was great. Um, I didn't, I, I did not pay hardly anything. I paid $140 for the ticket into Universal, Universal Studios. I paid $100 for somebody to watch the dogs and then, or to watch Rocky because I brought, Na, I brought Nala with me because I had just gotten her. Um, and uh, let's see, and gas, and that's it. And it was in LA, a four hour drive. So, I don't know, 300, 350 bucks. Uh, I, oh, plus I spent $70 for dinner for all seven of us. So $400, $400 maybe $500. And I didn't have to pay for a hotel because my brother rented an Airbnb and they had a spare room. So uh, I just slept in the spare room with Nala. Um, I had literally just got, just, I can't say I just got her. I just found her the day before and she was passed out the whole time. It was. And the, the kids, oh my gosh, the kids and that puppy. Savannah, my niece, 
anything fluffy, she falls in love with it. And she just like, she would not leave poor Nala. <laughs> poor Nala. She was fine. Nala finally got to the point where she was running away from my niece. That's too much love. I can't take it. No more. And she's just like, puppy, puppy. I hadn't named her yet. Chasing her all over the house. Poor little puppy. So those are the five things I will not scrimp on. Uh, vacation, I've seen some YouTubers who will sleep in their car to save money. Um, I won't do that unless I have a minivan with a setup and a bed and still, but most times I would rather spend the 50 bucks and stay in a Motel 6 or Super 8 or whatever. I don't even care. And then when it comes to uh, dining out on vacations, I'll dine out if I want to. I might be in the mood for an apple and a yogurt, so I'll stop by the local grocery store. But if I want to eat out, I will. I don't look at the prices. I'll just, I'll make it rain. Make it rain. Yeah. <laughs> Not really, but I go on vacation, um, but you guys should know, you know, being a YouTuber, there are certain things, it's not that I wanna keep my vacations private, it's just that I want to live in the moment when I'm on my vacations, when I'm spending time with my family. So I very rarely pull out my camera to show those things. And again, it's not because I don't wanna share with you or I wanna keep it private, it's just that I want to be in that moment and, and focusing on my family and the things that I love as opposed to like, holding a camera and say hi to the camera everybody and, and and here's the bedroom and stuff like that so it's very rare that I pull out the camera um, but I do and I think I still have some footage which I will from my vacation I think I'll try and put it in here you'll probably notice that Nala is a lot bigger now than she was in the footage <laughs> but it's her running around in the backyard of the Airbnb all right folks that is what I got for you guys today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to praise the YouTube gods and help me in the algorithm. And go ahead and comment in the comment section. Let me know the things that you will not cheap out on. Do what you can with what you've got. Prepper Princess out.